Hey guys and welcome to the Arzin channel. So if you got a Pocket Go or a BitBoy of any version and you have the issue with screen tearing etc then this tutorial is great news for you. So BitBoy has released a firmware update for both the BitBoys and the Pocket Go which fixes the screen tearing issue. Now today I'd like to show you guys a method of updating your Pocket Go slash BitBoy both of them work the same way. Uh, one method is by means of doing a simple update, just copying a couple of files. And the second method is by um, means of a clean install to a clean SD card. So let's get right into it. Below in the description, I've provided the download links for the firmware updates. But if you want, you can go and check out Jutley's website, which is retrogamehandhelds.com he has lots of interesting information which will help you determine what bitboy you own depending on the barcode on the back of your bitboy you'll be able to tell if you got a version 2 2.5 version 3 or version 3.5 but today i'll be updating my pocket go and doing a clean install as well so let's get right into that First of all, you'll have to go to the download link provided in the description below. Now I'll just click on this over here, if you have the web page open. And you'll have to download this file over here, which is the version 1.3 custom firmware, the latest version for the Pocket Go. For BitBoy, it would be version 4.2. Now after that, you have it all in a nice folder. Just be sure to keep everything neat and clean. Now let's go on to a other important step that you should not skip. So plug in your SD card and then you'll have to go over to main. You got ROMs, we got media, we got games. And I don't think there's anything extra in emulators that will not be updated or overwritten at least. So you have to copy those right there and just paste it anywhere you want. I'll paste it here. Now here I got my ROMs, etc. And the games. I don't think you really need to replace all the games, but you know, just in case. Just copy whatever you like. And after that, you'll have to open this and you have to extract it. Now, once the extraction is done, I'm not going to extract it because I already did it over here. Now let's go to the uncompressed file over here and you'll see an image. This image here can be opened using 7-zip. The download link to 7-zip will be provided in the description below in case you don't have 7-zip. So you right click on this, go to 7-zip, there you say open archive. Now, next up, you have the FAT32 file over here. This is the file that has all the important information. What you can do right now is you select all of this, which are the new files that have to be replaced in the main partition of the SD card. Main. So what you do with this is you copy all of it too, and then you select the drive that it needs to be copied to, which in this case is main. As you can see, those are like the same file types. And then click OK, and then OK. It will start writing over files. Of course, you will have to overwrite all the files in the SD card. And now let's wait until that's done. Now, after you've done all that, you should be ready to go and you'll have the new firmware. If you have a clean SD card for any reason, you want to expand your SD card, you think the SD card of the Pocket Go is not big enough for your likes, then you'll have to do a clean install. A clean install is a little more complicated than this, but it's not that difficult. You'll need two different programs that I'll have provided in the description below. The first one is here it's called Minitool Partition Wizard. Now you'll have to download that from the description below. 
And the other program that you'll have to download is Win32 Disk Imager. Now, first things first, we'll just keep this over here. Let's check out our um, SD card. Once you insert your SD card, two or four partitions will be showing up in your this PC folder. So we go over here. You see that disk four has the partitions that we were talking about here, two of them, main and boot. Boot is not very useful to look into, but the main partition is. We want to unify all of this and do a disk wipe. So we want to wipe the disk here and we fill the sectors with zero, which is good enough. It will show up here as unallocated, which means it has no file system. If you want to give it a file system and you go over to um, create and then we'll have to create a FAT32 file system. The drive letter will be H, whatever you like it to be and click OK. Now we'll have to apply this. And then we'll have to wait. Now that we have a clean FAT32 SD card, we can go on to the next step. What we need to do right now is we'll open the 32 disk imager like this. And then we'll select our drive. The drive we have is drive H. Make sure to select drive H in the drop down box. You don't want to overwrite your uh, hard drive. Let's go over to the file that you downloaded your image to, this over here. So for your Pocket Go, you'll have Pocket Go version 1.3 custom firmware. What we need to do right now is we'll have to write the image to the SD card. Yeah. And once again, we'll have to wait. Now that you've finished writing, let's go on to the last step, which is we'll have to extend it. Now you see this boot drive over here, it's 253 MB. And you're like, what? Don't worry, we'll have to get that fixed right now. So first of all, go to the mini partition uh, wizard and go to the partition manager. Also to reload the disk. And we'll have to fix two issues. Okay, first one is this here has to be extended to fill up the whole SD card. These are all fine, except this one has to be extended. Here you can put in your ROMs, etc. And also another issue that we have with this one is that it does not have a drive letter and we'll have to change that. Now, first of all, you right click and then click on extend. Slide this all the way over to max. Now, after you've done that, we'll have to change the letter to any letter you want. Let's say we'll just, we'll just put I, why not? And we'll have to apply and once again, wait. So after that's done, we'll have a extended main partition, which fills up the whole SD card and it has a letter, which means that right now we'll see it showing up in this PC folder. So we made a simple backup at the start of the video. Just copy these two files and go to main and then paste them over here. So after that's done, the whole update procedure is pretty much done. Let's see if everything went properly. Okay, it seems to have worked. Now that we're approaching the end of the video, I'd like to say, if you enjoy retro gaming, emulation, and gaming technology at all, be sure to subscribe, like the video, 
leave comments for suggestions of what you want to see in the future on my channel and I'll be sure to consider it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.